Hey everyone, Pokemon X once again, and for like the like fourth, fifth time, it is another evolution day. Um, today we're going to focus on getting more of the eggs. We're going to get some of the instances to get some of the eggs that we missed last time. And the really big thing is we're going to grab all the fossil Pokemon. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of trading. So we're going to get a good bit of the Pokedex done today, so let's go and do that. Okay, so we just traded over the Alakazam. Now, there's a couple other ones. Let me pull up my little list here. I thought I got all of them. Apparently, I didn't. What else are we missing here? All right, everybody. So I just did a couple of quick trades back and forth. And as you can see, we got went ahead and... Oh, we already saw the Alakazam. I went ahead and grabbed Throw and Electrike. So Electrike will have to evolve, so I'll bring him over into this box. I think he's just through... Oh, I totally forgot about these two. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and trade these along with... So, in the other Y, I still have to get, like, the Legendary, like, Xerneas and the Bird. I'll go ahead and trade these two along when we do those. So, we'll just hold off on those for now. And this will have to be until I get more money in the battle place. I could grab the items they need to be breeded. But, okay, so I think that's probably a decent place to stop for now. So let's go ahead and make sure we save and we can kind of double check where we're at in our Pokedex. So we're on to 453, right? Yeah, 453. So I'll have to double check my Pokedex. I probably filled quite a bit of the slots. So like I was looking through here and this is kind of where I was getting a lot of those eggs that I needed to hatch and... We probably filled quite a few now, and I'll probably have to go through go through these the next time I play. Like I know the Skitty, I need the Stone, the Bulbasaur, I still need to straight up get, but I'll probably try to end up getting that from someone else. What is that? That is the oh yeah, this you just need to you need to evolve. That shouldn't be too hard. But oh yeah, and then I think this is the baby which we'll get. So yeah, we, so many of these are. Like we're almost we're almost done with that one. Okay, what about coastal? How are we doing here? I think we've got most of them here too. I think there's just a couple that we're missing. The Sylveon, which we'll grab. I don't know if Yan Mega is a thing in this gen, but we'll have to do that. The baby for this one, which we'll need obviously that item. And the two birds. It was gonna be a little harder to get at this point, but. Okay, and what about the mountain? I think the mountain is the one that we have least. But let's see what we're missing. So we're missing, obviously, the legendary. We're missing Bonsley, but that's obvious. Bonnet, which we'll have to grab out of the trash can. I don't know what those three are. I don't know what... Why am I missing so... These, I have no idea what these are. So I'll have to double check what those are. Yo, we don't have... Why did I think this was the final evolution? Okay. Okay, hold up. <laughs> Girder evolution level. Am I dumb? Okay. That is big. Okay, so we need to trade that. I did not realize that that is a thing that has to be traded. Okay. What else are we missing here? Oh. Oh, yeah, this is because we need a stone. Don't, oh, that's the Del... Hmm. I'll have to grab whatever that is. See, so yeah, we're not in the Gudra. We just need to evolve. 
Okay, so we're not missing too, too much. Um, let's go ahead and go into the computer right now, though. And grab the shiny. This, we're going to have to trade over. I didn't even realize I had another evolution, so let's go ahead and make sure we trade that one over, too. But yeah, guys, I think that's good for today. I think that's probably fine for today. Let's go ahead and do a little quick save. And we'll get some of the rest tomorrow, because it is, I think, 3 in the morning, and I probably need to go to bed, so... Hey everyone, so it's a couple days later. I worked on my other account, so it's time to trade some Pokemon. So I think I'm in the same room. Let's go ahead and do a trade here. And this is actually the last of the exclusives from Pokemon Y. So hopefully I shouldn't have to touch the game. I think the only one we're missing is the Legendary Bird. But I'm just going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to put in the hours to get that i think i'll just try to trade it from someone else but i did get all the exclusives and i even grabbed the last couple fossils that are exclusive to the game and then today we're also also going to go over to the glittering cave and we got to get the fossils specifically for this game too um let's go ahead and start trading a couple things i don't even know what to trade i guess it's straight from the bottom here so the first thing we got is the Tyranitar, so that's kind of the pseudo-legendary that's exclusive to Pokemon Y, so we're going to go ahead and get that, and of course, we're going to have to uh, get an egg to get the tinier versions, and we'll, we'll probably do that in a minute also. And then the other two Pokemon is obviously the Legendary, and then um, Leopard, or Leopard, however you say that name. And those are actually the only three left aside from the fossils and um, I actually just stuck the fossils as an item on these Pokemon Just because that's the easiest way to transfer it currently. So we're gonna go and do that Okay, let's see the next one Let's go ahead and trade over This and this is another one where we will actually have to get the egg once again because a lot of these just come in their like evolved forms so at least it's only three though and then like i said so we gotta do a couple of these eggs and we gotta head over to the glittering cave um and yeah we're doing pretty good on all these pokemon i think we're very very close to being done again the only hard parts are those birds i still don't 100 percent know how i'm gonna get my hands on those i technically i could just put in the work on my other account but mm, I don't know but we should have one more here this communication always takes forever at this stage here okay there we go let's go ahead and we can go ahead and give Horsey here just so we can have these three Pokemon next to each other so I can find them a little bit more easily and lastly the legendary Pokemon of that game easy peasy there we go. So now, yeah, I think we just have a little bit more work to do and we'll have a good majority. And I'm going to have to go through the Pokedex and kind of see what we're missing slowly. And whatever I'm missing now is going to be like the kind of the more obscure Pokemon. So those, those will be a little harder to get. But Ooh, and I totally got to remember that. There is a few Pokemon that I need to trade to evolve from last time, which I like, totally forgot about up until this exact moment. Alright, and now we're going to go ahead and start trading them back. This is kind of the more exciting part here. First up, we're going to get back our shiny girder. There we go. Once again, the Pokemon that I did not realize had an evolution up until... I saw it on the Pokedex. I don't know why I just assumed Girder looked like the final evolution, but... Yep, there we go. I think I've also made the same mistake in Pokemon Go, funny enough. Girder is one of those rare exceptions where I think a Pokemon looks fully evolved at its second form. There we go. And we even got a shiny version of it, which is kind of sick. Alright, and then we got two more to stand by. We got the Kingdra and that last one, which... I do not know how to say its name, so I'm not going to even try. So I'm definitely going to butcher it. 
Man, they really need to shorten that communicating screen. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do Kingdra next. We'll just save the weirdest for last. There we go. If I was smart, I would have also stuck fossils on these ones, but I was too lazy to get out of the room and get in. in. And we'll just get new fossils anyway, so it's all right. All right, there we go. Oh, also, gotta remind myself, I gotta go get those couple items for Snorlax, Sudowoodo, and that one last Pokemon that I totally forgot. I do need to grab items for those and get eggs for those too. That is something that is kind of important. Alright, last Pokemon. And officially, the last trade we'll hopefully have to do between games. For the Aromatis. Ooh, I also need to get Bulbasaur too. So maybe we'll have to do one more trade, but to do the Bulbasaur, that's going to have to be, I might have to make a third account, um, but that one's pretty easy because I get it right at the beginning of the game, basically. I just need to get over to first time meeting Sycamore and Limoways, so I could probably, the Bulbasaur is very doable, so I'll probably end up doing that at some point, but these, these last couple of Pokemon are definitely going to take a long time comparatively. You know, we used to get like 50 an episode, but now we're probably going to have to run it down to... You know, it's going to take me a couple hours to find one of the last ones because it's probably something obscure. Which I'll have to find some random user on Citra to trade me it. Okay, but that should be the last Pokemon. Let me quickly check. Is there anything else? I don't think so. I think that is the last of it. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of the trading. I guess the other big thing is I need to find a way to get more moonstones. I think that'll be the hardest part. But there's ways to get them, so I'll figure it out. Okay, let me go ahead and just save on my alternate account here and make sure that doesn't like get weirdly corrupted for some reason. Here we go okay okay so where we need to go is quamarine shop it gets over here where oh it's this one where is it so apparently there's a shop that sells the items that we need in this town that i did not know about so let's go ahead and get those we'll go ahead and head over to the daycare and then probably over to the Glittering Cave. But now I have to find this shop that they're talking about. Because I don't... I've never actually seen it before. I wonder if the sign tells me. Nope, that did not tell me at all. Okay, it's probably on the lower floor. So let's go ahead and... Alright, bud. What do you sell? Oh, okay. That He does sell it. Ooh, they're very expensive. But... Luckily, we actually have enough money to buy all of them, so let's go ahead and buy one of each. A lot of these, I'm actually not going to need. Like, the rose one is used for Roserade, and, you know, I got all the evolutions of that, so... Wait, actually, I might need the Roserade one. There's a couple of them that I know I don't need, but I'm still going to buy them, just so I could have one of each. Not like I'm running particularly low on money, so that's fine. Okay. Okay. And last one. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and run over back to Route 7. And we're going to basically do what we did a couple clips ago. Also, I have no idea how I'm structuring these episodes. I've just kind of been recording randomly anytime I get some time to evolve Pokemon, so... For all I know, this is all one big episode, or it's three. Who knows? But let's go ahead and go inside the daycare. I don't think I have anyone here, right? Yeah, so I just have the ditto in there. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and organize some boxes. Let's go ahead and get the fully evolved ones out of the way. So that's fully evolved. I really should probably give the items to the Pokemon, right? So we need the full incense. We need to give that to Snorlax. We need to give the Lax incense over to the Wubbuffet. And we need to give the Rock Incense over to the Sudowoodo. And I think that's it. I think I have Badoo. And I, I don't need anything else. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and we'll start off with Snorlax and go from there. Okay, here is our first one. So, let's see what is in egg number one. Hopefully, we don't get... <laughs> A double, because that means I probably did something wrong, but it's alright. Alright, there the hoot hoot is first. And yeah, that's one of the ones that, again, I had to... Ch the only reason I knew is I had to check the Pokedex. Not realizing, I'm like, oh yeah. I guess we did just go straight to the Knocked Owl. Two. Let's see what we get this time. Alright, so we did the Wobbuffet right, which is good. Yeah, for some reason I thought that you you would have you had to buy those items over at the um, the battle place, but nope, it's just at the shop. Although it is quite expensive. If I had to buy that mid game, it would definitely be out of my budget. But this one could either be the Eevee or maybe the Munchlax. Ooh, the Bonsly. Okay, there we go. So I'm guessing we're still looking for the Eevee. And the Munchlax. I think those are the two. Is the fourth egg. Let's see what we can go ahead and get. It should be either the Eevee or the Munchlax, theoretically. Alright, there's that Eevee. So this is going to be the one where um, we'll have to turn into Sylveon. So I'll have to do the whole Pokemon a me thing. Which I haven't done before, but I'm guessing it shouldn't be that hard. And this should be the last baby Pokemon that we need. Yep, there we go. So, cause yeah, I think we have we have the Mantike, we have the Azurel, we have the Badoo, we have the Chingling, Mr. Mem Jr. I think the only one we don't have is the Happiny, but that's because I don't know where I'm supposed to get a Chansey from. So, I think that one's probably just yeah. I don't know if that's part of the decks, but okay. Well, cool. We can go ahead and let's go ahead and put these away. And I think our next stop here is now going to be the Glittering Cave. Let me make sure these kind of get put in the right areas. I'm going to keep the Eevee on me. This can set in there. Let's go ahead and withdraw a couple Pokemon. So we'll need... I think these are just evolved by levels. So Scraggy, Electrike. And then a lot of the fossil Pokemon will need to be evolved through leveling, but... And let's go ahead and grab some of the... Oh, also what I should probably do is those Pokemon that we traded, move them out of the first box here. Let's go ahead and move Yveltal over next to the other legendaries here. Oh, and actually I forgot one egg. We we're going to have to do an egg of this one and an egg of this one. I knew for some reason in my brain, I knew in the subconscious somewhere, I'm like, I'm missing two Pokemon. There we go. So, I went ahead and got both the eggs for Tyranitar and the Leopard. So, we'll have both of those. Let's go ahead and grab... Where's one of those eggs? Okay, let's go ahead. I think I accidentally made two eggs of the other one, so we'll go ahead and just take that one. Then the other thing we need to do is grab the, the fossils that are exclusive to Y. So... Yeah, each of these. So the, I think the armor fossil. Um, the armor fossil is an X2, but I just had a space. So I might as well grab that one. But the dome fossil, along with the helix fossil, are exclusive to Y. So we have them here. But now, and I'm going to go ahead and just let those eggs hatch while we look around for fossils. Might as well save some time here. Oh, I don't have anything that can fly. Okay, never mind. You, we will just do them now then. Here is the first one. Let's see and see if I messed it up or not. Again, I accidentally got two eggs of one of them. Okay, there is the Purloin. And the other one should be... 
the pupitar. Okay, guys, so the last egg is the larvitar egg, or pupitar, and honestly, we're gonna have to evolve it to the second stage, so I'll go ahead and just hatch it as we walk. Um, and I went ahead and grabbed the Noivern, so let's go ahead and head over to the Goodring Cave. Let me also get this up. Okay, so we're here. Let's go ahead and put on a Max Repel. Okay, 24 of them. Oh, we need a Pokemon with a Rock Smash. Oh, did I... Wait, once this hatches, I think it can learn probably Rock Smash. Okay. Um, yes. Here we go. This should be our Larvitar, unless I did something horrendously wrong. So let's hope I did not, because that'd be very annoying to go back to. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm kind of putting all of my trust in this thing being able to learn Rock Smash. I'm really hoping it can, because if it can't, then we might be in just a tiny bit of trouble. Okay, oh, and the Scraggy could too. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and teach us Rock Smash. Okay, so now, so a couple of things for other people looking for fossils. There are, again, fossil exclusives on both. Um, we are in the Glittering Cave, and you need to be post Elite Four. If you are not past the Elite Four, you will not find fossils. That's very important. So we just go ahead and smash these, and we have a chance of finding a fossil in it. No fossil in that one. What about in this one? And again, so we have the Helix and the Dome from Y. And then we have the Armor Fossil. So we're just looking for the two exclusives of X, which is the Claw and the Root, along with the Cover, Plume, Skull, and Old Amber. Okay, there we go. That is a Cover Fossil. Bang, another one off the list. So, we're just going to keep running around and doing this until we get all of them. So, we still need an Old Amber Claw, Root, Skull, and... Okay, there we go. That is the Claw. That is one of the X exclusives. Very nice. Okay, there we go. There is the Skull. So, there is three of the six that we needed. Still looking for the Amber, the Root, and the Plume. I think the Plume is definitely the hardest one to find so far because... I did a lot of fossil searching in Y, and Plume was the only one that I wasn't able to find, so. All right, there is the Old Amber, so that is our air deck. Those were just looking for the Root and the Plume. Okay, there is the Root, and we are left with just the Plume, which is, once again, the one that I couldn't find in Y for some reason. I don't know why Archon specifically is just so hard to find, but um, I'm probably going to be here a little while looking for it, unless I get it right here. Holy, all right, there we go, we finally got the plume fossil, that took only absolutely forever, but now we can go ahead and head out of the cave. Okay, so um, we grabbed a bunch of Pokemon to evolve, but actually, we're going to have to put them away right now just because we're going to have to get some room for some of these fossils. And we'll just try to go one by one here on my list so to make sure we get all of them. Okay, so first we'll go ahead and do the Helix. Is it... Do we have to walk around a bunch or does he just do it instantly? I forgot. Oh, okay. So he literally just gives it to us. Okay. Very cool. Oh, okay. So that's the Helix. Next we're going to do the Dome. We'll do the dome fossil. There we go, one by one, and we're definitely gonna have to make two trips because I only have five slots open, but. Okay. There we go, we got ourselves the Kabuto. Oh, next we'll go ahead and do the old amber. Let's do the old amber. And that'll get us our Aerodactyl. Okay, and then we'll do the two X exclusives, and then we'll probably be full. So we, we just got to get the claw and the root. So let's go ahead and do the claw. There we go. Getting all of them real quick. Okay. Anorith. 
And then we just gotta do the root. And then we'll probably have to clear up some space here. Nope. Yes, let's go ahead and give him the root. Bang. Cool. We got four more of the skull, armor, cover, and plume. Let's go ahead and put these away in the level up box because most of these do have an evolution, so we will have to evolve them. I think the only one we don't have to is the Aerodactyl because Aerodactyl does not evolve, so this one will just go ahead and stick straight into the box. Oop, and we still have our Anorith here. Sneaky. You still have to get leveled up. To uh, got the name of the second one of that one. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and do the skull. Here we go. And that should give us Kranidos, which is super, super sick. Very cool, shiny, too. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna do the armor, which will give us a shield on. There we go. And I definitely got a few extras of some fossils, so we'll have extras lying around for now, but. Okay. Two more to go, the cover and the plume. Let's go ahead and do the cover first. There we go. Bang, man, this man's gonna see a lot of dinosaurs all in one day. But he's real jealous we're doing God's work for him. Alright, last one is the plume. There you go, and then all the rest are just doubles or extras that I have. Which I, unless I guess I want to go shiny hunting for him, I guess I won't really need to take care of, so. Cool. Alright, and that should be, theoretically, all of the fossils. Let's go ahead and organize these boxes into... So this uh, this is something special. I think these are all of the ones that I need to level up. This is just Noivern, which we'll need in a minute here. Ooh, now all of a sudden we have a lot of Pokemon that we need to level up. So that was a lot of fossils. Very cool fossils, may I say. Okay. There's all of them. So, we're going to go ahead and head back to the Victory Road, and it's time to do some leveling. Okay, here we go. We got our Electric Evolving. Also, I'm totally at the Leap 4, just kind of battling them, just because it gets me money. And two, it's at, I think this is slightly quicker than just doing the battles at the Victory Road. I think taking on the Leap 4 gives a little bit more XP. So, anyway... There is our main trick. The only thing that sucks is I'm not going to be able to get out and like swap it out for another Pokemon. Okay, here we go. We have Shield Dawn evolving, and I just defeated Diantha again. It's very, very easy with uh, absolutely pumped up Starmie. I got, oh, and another thing that I didn't know if I showed in between clips, but I also uh, EV trained Starmie. I reset uh, Starmie's stats and specifically EV trainer and obviously special attack and speed so there's another thing that I did okay here we go we got our Archon evolving one of the first fossil ones aside from the shield on also it is still well okay it's the next day but it is still in the middle of the night and my wife is sleeping right next to me so I'm still trying to be slightly quiet sorry that's why I've probably been monotone for a little while now. I'm trying not to scream. Alright, there we go. We got our Archon, though. Alright, here we go. Next evolution, Kranidos evolving into... Ramparados. Ramper something? I'm so bad with names, I'm sorry. I try my best. I usually remember at least like half the name. I know it's Ram and Rampira... Ramparados, right? Rampardos. Rampardos. Yeah. Okay. Next fossil. Oh, I got a sneeze. Excuse me. 
All right, there we go. Probably the coolest fossil of all time. Budaps. Very, very nice. Also, I just got a YouTube comment, so I should probably respond to it. Very nice, though. Slash, or we'll let you learn Smash. Get rid of Mud Shot. I wonder how I get Genesect. That's another Pokemon that I kind of want. I don't know how I do that, though. With Scraggy being evolved, we're, we gotta grab one more Pokemon out of the box, and that is officially, I think, all of the Pokemon that I know of right now that need leveling to evolve. Obviously, there, there will be more, but that is currently all the ones in my box that I know of. Um, I probably won't have too much time tonight to go over the Pokedex, considering it's 1 in the morning and I have work, but yeah. Okay, everybody, here we are. Um, next Pokemon on the evolution block here, we got Tortuga. Um, I think, personally, one of my favorite fossils. Other than Kabudops, I think Tortuga is probably like my second favorite. Um, I guess I just like turtles. I just, I love turtles. Yep, there we go. We got a Caracosta. Do we have another one? Nope, just that one. Cool. Another evolution. Oh, also, I muted my game because it was very loud and it was giving me a headache. Yeah, quiet. So here we go. We got our uh, Pupitar over to Larvitar, which now is the hard part of getting it all the way to level 50. And where we get ourselves the Tyranitar. Wait, wait a minute. We got the Tyranitar. I totally forgot that we got traded the Tyranitar. Actually, psych, never mind. We actually don't need it to get a two Tyranitar. We already have one. Big brain. Okay, I'm actually really glad I remember that because if I would have got it all the way to Tyranitar, just to remember that I already have one, I would have been major sad. Let's go ahead and stick this in a box. All right, everybody, here we go. Leap, another evolution, another day, another dollar, another Pokemon evolution. I've been doing this a lot the past couple days, man. I've seen, at this point, hundreds of evolutions, and it's making me go a little crazy. It's the middle of the night, and I'm doing evolutions. All right, here we go, Cradley. Two more, two more. Anorith and Ammonite. Okay, here we go. Ammonite. After this, just one more. And then we could finally kind of take a look at our Pokedex and start filling in the less obvious spots because right now we're doing the obvious the fossils the fish the you know but now we're gonna get into the more weird ones where it's like the more obscure pokemon that i gotta gotta look around for you know there we go there's our ammonite spike cannon sure man you can look spike cannon you you ammonite you can have whatever you want you little demon snail ancient demon snail you can have whatever you want but final evolution at least for tonight for sure um like i said there's still the ev there's still the gudra but man i got i i gotta find some rain but i'm not gonna be able to find it right right now so go ahead and get whatever <laughs> armaldo is whatever whatever this beautiful beautiful weird thingy is okay also let me we're now kind of done here let me go ahead and turn up the audio here Okay, here we go. Okay, let's head back, put everything away, and then we can kind of take a look at our... Also, let me put the mic closer. Maybe we can kind of take a look at what the Pokedex looks like currently. Bang, and that box, box 12, was almost full. So, yeah, what do we got in the work on box? We just got some stones. Okay, so, let's just go ahead and take a look at the Pokedex here. How many do we got? Actually, let's go ahead and save. That's probably the more important part. And we got 477 Pokemon. Let's see how many more we could possibly get here. So let's go through one by one. Let's start with the central. So we got everything. I think so. Okay, I, like my eyesight's terrible. We got everything. Got everything. Got everything. Okay. Okay, so obviously we need this, but that's through a stone, and we know that. Delcaddy. I don't know where to get that, so we'll note it. Obviously the Bulbasaur line, which we'll have to get later. 
So, so far, nothing crazy. 108. I don't know what that is. Egg slash, which we do have in our box. So, I don't have to worry about that. So, so far, only basically Del Caddy. Okay. So, literally, Del Caddy and Bulbasaur. Everything else, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of here. Let's go ahead and look at Coastal. Okay. Everything good so far. Everything good so far. Got most of these. Actually got all of these so far. What am I missing? Okay, so we need 88, whatever that is. Is that literally the only one missing? We'll probably have some missing at the bottom. Oh, okay, so 88 and the two birds. Oh, man. We filled with this Pokedex a lot more than I thought we did. I thought we were... Yeah, because now... Yeah, we have most of them. Let's see what we're missing here. Obviously, the Gudra. Um, but that's... We have it ready. We just need to find some rain. Punch crow. Obviously, we just need the stone. Man, we're... Okay, 97, whatever that is. Okay, here's a couple missing. 107, 109, 110. Okay, so it looks like we're missing a couple in the mountainous. 121, 122. But not that... And that's it so we've probably got a total of maybe 15 or 20 more and we're done with the technically the pokedex not the national but the pokedex very cool well i'm gonna stop for tonight guys thanks for watching